here with uh, Skinny Isles baseball coach Tom Warner. Coach, congratulations on the sectional championship. Long haul, 15 years I think since the last sectional championship. 15 years, it's been uh, 12 years since uh, Coach Kerr and I got hired by the district to, nice. to coach the team. And uh, a lot of time, uh, a lot of players have gone through and it was nice to get over the hump this year. Yeah, so before we go into a, a lot of it, I just gotta ask you, you know, my understanding is that you're pretty calm, cool, and, and collected out on, on the field, um, very regimented, which, which I appreciate. Guys talking to shirts look like baseball players and just a, a certain way that you act. But uh, my understanding was things got a little lax last week after that sexual championship. What happened there? Yeah, well, I guess I, I became the cool coach three, three weeks, uh, the last three weeks of the season. Uh, but, you know, so we were, we were practicing in March in the gym. There's a foot of snow on the ground, and, you know, they come in with uh, mullets, and uh, Luke's trying to play rap music, and, you know, all, all this is going on. And, uh, you know, I think Tom here, one of the, the guys, said, hey, coach, if, if we win sectionals this year, can we do this, can we do that? And, you know, in March, it's easy to say, yeah, sure. that's fine. Yeah, if we win sectionals, we can do that. So day after we win sectionals, Tommy comes up and, hey, coach, what about the barbecue at your house, or are you going to get a mullet, or can we listen to rap music? And so I had to, I'm a man of my word, so I had to follow through on it. All right, so do you still have the mullet? Or I got a haircut. I'm going to keep the head on right for now, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I went to the hairdresser on Sunday, um, and I'm like, just do what you can with it. So, yeah. um, played baseball at Le Moyne, um, unbelievable program, kind of fashion your coaching style after your coaches at Le Moyne. Uh, I do. Um, you know, Steve Owens, I, I played for Steve Owens. Sure. Um, I learned a lot from him, and I'd like to think that I uh, emulate some of the things that he did, yeah. uh, that he still does. It. Now he's a Bryant. Um, I, the pitching coach was uh, Pete Hoy. That's Jimmy's going to go play for Pete at St. Lawrence. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'd like to think that. I do. That's great. I mean, we talked about it a little bit before, but, you know, kind of a slow start to the season. And then you guys just kicked it into gear all the way through the sectional championship. You know, what do you attribute to that? Well, I mean, a slow start, it's, it's tough. You know, you're playing games late March, early April. Um, I don't get these kids till I think it was March 4th this year, so it's still early. Um, we lost a couple of close games. Uh, our, you know, our defense wasn't where it was supposed to be. But, you know, a month into the season, you know, it's, you know that's, that usually comes last, sure. the fielding. Uh, you know, Ryan Grass a couple of times. And, um, you know, going down to Myrtle Beach, we played well, uh, better than I thought we would. But you know, we're getting out on nice fields. Um, we're uh, you know playing as a team, and it, you know it's kind of like a turning point. Uh, you know, going down there. You definitely weren't playing any baseball up here when you guys are down. No, there. no. Sure. It, it was, was, yeah, was, it was up here. Yeah. yeah. All right, and so just guys got their their act together and uh, carried it all the way through. Um, for all of us, it was hard deck city through that, uh, that that playoff run, one nothing, one nothing, fourteen innings. Uh, I guess you guys did give us a uh, a little breather with an eight two win over Salve, but yeah. um, even then, you know, so. <laughs> you're a relatively young guy. Did you get some great hair through that process? Well, I don't let the cool calm to nah. me on the outside uh, fool you. Uh, you know, I, sometimes I'd come to the dugout and pub gym, you know, our assistant coach. You know, I can't take this. I can't take this enough. But you just got to keep going. Um, you can't give up, and you know, luckily we had a group of seniors that um, you know played together as a team. They're great teammates, and you know they all contributed in some way. And uh, we kind of we kind of used them to lead the way. Yeah, and Nate Wellington, who's not here today, you know, a senior, real athletic kid going to Syracuse to play football, bat. Him, he bats ninth in the order, but yeah. he came up with some big plays at the end of the season. He did, uh, defensively, and he ended up uh, leading the team in hitting. That's great. Yeah. That's false. <laughs> I'm the best <laughs> I'm the power hitter. Gotcha. Ooh, tough crowd. Um, well, you, you mentioned Jim Kerr. I, I think the world is Jim, but what does Jim bring to your program? Oh, Jim is... Uh, Possibly the most important, besides the, the players, yeah. you know, Jim is possibly the most important part of this. All the, the hours in the summer he does, yeah. uh, the youth programs, um, just the, um, you know, his demeanor and his uh, rapport with people in the community. He lives right here in Skinny Atlas. Um, you know, it's great. I learn things from him every day. Jim, Jim is, is fantastic. So, you know, 
just uh, again, you know, congratulations on, on the sectional championship. And um, you know, if there's anything you want to say to these guys, I know you have sure you've had a lot of conversations, but uh, you want to get it out there. Here's here's your chance. Don't mean to put you on the spot. Oh, you're not putting me on the spot. Um, uh, so when I uh, so when when Jack jokes says I was a cool coach three weeks into the season, I I know something clicked in my head where I. Uh, you know, I knew this was a special group of kids, and I, I never took. After I realized that, I didn't want it to, you know, close by so quickly. I didn't want to take a, a single day coaching these guys for granted. Sure. So I guess, and t- you know, I guess that made me appear more relaxed, like I was having more fun. But I wanted to make sure I enjoyed every day with these guys sure. because you don't get a group of kids like this. Uh, some coaches don't ever. Yeah. So, right. yeah. Congratulations, Coach. And, right, thank uh, you. So now you set the bar high, and uh, future future teams are going to have to live up to the, you know, the example that these guys have set. So um, again, guys, thanks for coming in. All right, Coach.